The 2021-22 season was not one of the best off the pitch for Derby County, but on the pitch, Wayne Rooney's men showed the fight and desire that left many of us fans so proud of the team. In total, we got 21 points deducted over the season and that left us with a mountain to climb to avoid relegation. We obviously didn't manage to in the end, but we came very close. This video will look back on some of the best moments that I captured whilst travelling up and down the country supporting the Rams. Enjoy. So starting off with Peterborough away, which is the second league game of the season and the first away game of the season. We did end up losing 3-1 in unfortunate way at the end of the game, but we went 1-0 up through Jack Stretton's first ever professional goal and it sent us into absolute scenes and we also had the chance of we are top of the league, which is quite funny to look back on. This next one is Stoke at home. We did end up winning 2-1 in this game and this came the day after the club had been deducted more points and it was a real kick in the teeth for us Derby County fans and it made relegation seem inevitable but we still rallied together and came together to show the support for the team and we came out 2-1 winners in which really was a massive game for us to show our support for the players on the pitch.
Now all the videos in this video will be from the Golanger vlogs that I make, but this is one that I never actually ended up getting around to releasing, so it's nice to be able to include it in it. It's Coventry away, and at Coventry away, we just had a great travelling support from the Derby County fans. On the pitch, we did end up drawing 1-1, but we had some chances at the end of the game to win it, but Shinny's goal sent us into absolute limbs. It was fantastic support from Derby County fans, so this is Coventry away. Come on, boys, come on. Now for the next collection of videos, at the time Bournemouth were top of the league and they travelled to Pride Pot Stadium in a game where most people would have said Bournemouth would have come out winners if you just looked at the league table. We went 1-0 up but ended up 2-1 down at half time but in the second half we fought back to win 3-2. A superb collection of goals from Tom Lawrence and the one that got us the equaliser was absolutely fantastic wasn't it? But it once again showed the fight from the players and the passion from the fans to get us over the line against a top top team in the division.
West Brom, a team that most people would have predicted to finish in the playoffs come the end of the season, but it wasn't to be for them. They travelled to Derby County for a game that was live on Sky, and everybody thought that West Brom would win it realistically. Derby, however, we put in a very, very solid defensive performance and limited West Brom to very few chances. However, they gifted us the only goal of the game nearer to the end as Colin Kazim Richards pounced on Nera from the West Brom defender and goalkeeper as we went 1-0 up through an open goal. One of my personal favourite away days from this season and one of the only wins away from home this season unfortunately, Stoke away. A top, top away day for everybody who went and it was just great to see the team perform so well and we deservedly got the three points.
Sheffield United, a team that finished in the top six come the end of the season and another game where a top six team were coming to Pride Park and were expected to take the points off us, but our home record said otherwise. Tom Lawrence put in an absolutely unbelievable performance, but so did the rest of the team, but a special mention to Tom Lawrence. He once again showed the magic that he has and the ability that he has to win a game on his own and with two absolutely superb goals, a fantastic solo run for the first goal and then a lovely finish on his left foot from outside the box for the second one. Use your right foot for size, man! Derby County versus Birmingham City. This was known as the final game for Derby County fans as it was said that we would run out of funding after this game and it was seen as the final game of Derby County. However, we did end up getting more funding and this wasn't to be, but it was quite a monumental game for a lot of people. Pride Pot Stadium was pretty much sold out. Birmingham City had brought a huge away following as they always do and it looked to be quite an interesting fixture. It's always entertaining whenever Birmingham City play Derby County and this fixture lived up to that. Two goals from Birmingham City put us 2-0 down, but then Luke Plange, the youngster, got a goal back, and Christian Bielik, after being out injured for eight months, returned for a few minutes to go in the game with an absolute brilliant overhead kick, equalised and got us a point. It sent the stadium into absolute scenes. It's probably one of the best celebrations I've seen this season. DCFC!
almost a full circle now, Peterborough come to Derby County. It's regarded as a must-win game as we're on the look to come out of the relegation zone and Peterborough are also trying to do that. Peterborough come to Derby in good form, so I was a little bit nervous before this game, but it showed on the pitch that we were the better side. A late last gasp winner from Louis Sibley as the ball trickled into the bottom left corner, sent the stadium once again into absolute scenes. It was a massive win. <laughs> There was less and less games coming and Preston was regarded as once again another one of those must wins. There was a lot of them towards the end of the season and it was one that we came out winners in. Both sides had a man sent off but Ravel Morrison's goal was the one bit of quality that separated the two sides in this one. Now, in my opinion, when Fulham came to Pride Park, I believed that we wouldn't stay up. I know that's easy to say now we have gone down, 
but at the time it looked like there was not enough games left and too many points needed to be gained. However, when Fulham came, there was murmurs of if we can beat Fulham and then get another win away from home, we might be able to survive. Fulham went one, they looked through a fantastic team goal from them and it looked like Fulham was showing their quality and flexing their muscles. However, we came back and we eventually ran out 2-1 winners in what was a massive result and one that probably shot the championship considering where both teams were in the table. Skip forward now to the second to last game of the season and the final away game. We knew we were relegated, but it was Blackpool away, one that all fans look forward to no matter where you are in the league table or what position you're in. Derby fans, we sold around 4,000 tickets for Blackpool away and got given the whole length of the pitch in one stand. It was an absolutely amazing sport and I'll just let the video speak for themselves.
Cardiff at home now, the final game. It was one last chance for us Derby County fans to see our team play championship football for whoever knows how many more years. <laughs>
So, what a season it has been. A lot of downs, a couple of ups, but eventually we did get relegated. And we knew we were going to get relegated at the start of the season, but there was glimmers of hope when we eventually made it back into the positive amount of points, when we did climb out of relegation at one point, but it just wasn't to be in the end, was it, for Derby County? But there we go. We knew what we were getting ourselves into this season, and hopefully we'll have a team next season to support. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my social media in the description. Bit of a different one this one. Bit more of me talking to Cameron, intercutting at different points, but hopefully you have enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.